If you ever wondered what do you need to buy on a pestle round for a duelist, this video is for you. So in this episode on Lotus Lab, this is the second part of the compendium for the pistol buy rounds. We're working towards filling this entirety of the Excel sheet. And today we're going to be talking about the duelists. So we covered already Sentinels in the first part. Now we're going to talk about duelists for the first. Let's start with Reyna. Like the thing is with duelists in general, I have this mindset that you have to work towards creating of space, creation of space on the attack side. Reyna is the only one that I kind of see differently so in general on the attack side i think the only viable if you really care about uh winning w like winning the rounds um is the flash and ghost because essentially what you're trying to do is you support your other duelist because you should be playing reina only if you have a second duelist or you should not play reina at all in my eyes right so when the other duelists like jet neon yoru rays are doing space creation right then you can flash for that player like very up high to to make sure that he has support because the blind on pistol run is actually pretty decent since it has to get hit like three times to actually get destroyed so Ghost and a blind on Reyna for the attack side. If you go for two, like, heals and dismisses, it's very, very, very selfish. And you literally cannot help your team just enter. Unless you're just the madman who just peeks and tries to get kills. But that's... yeah. It, it should not be successful unless you're just so much better than the opponents. And if you're playing correctly in solo queue and so on, that shouldn't be the case. Anyway, so uh, then we go for Jet. Now, even with the nerves, even with all the changes, again, this is my perspective on what you should buy on the pistol round, I would go for two smokes, shields, and just the classic. Why? Because this type of build is the most tailored one towards creation of space. You can also maybe think about like updraft in some cases, like for example, if you play on Ascent, um, updrafting on that map on attack, even in pistol round, might be very successful because you can updraft over the boathouse on B or updraft dash towards Jenny on A, right? But in general, two smokes, shields is very important. Remember that if you dash to site, your, your classic actually has a lot of viability because you're so close to your opponent and you're moving and you're like peeking fast. You can maybe even jump peek from some positions. Like if you dash towards ascent on dice on a on a side you can just jump and kill someone behind behind dice with a classic right so for me that's the proper buy for the attack side uh jet then when it comes to neon uh if you have a controller in your team you shouldn't be buying the wall on the pistol round unless you have a very specific uh, set play with your controllers, for example. But if you play like typical solo queue, if you have someone to actually create smokes on the site, then what you should care about is getting those uh, stuns and then pushing aggressively um, with your dashing. And because of that, shields actually help you a lot because you cannot get one tapped from up close from someone with a ghost having mobility and right clicking with the uh with the classic while sliding is also very powerful and that's why i prefer to have those two stuns and the shields uh, as you can see like i prefer just shields on every single duelist apart from reyna when it comes to attack side now phoenix this is very very important as well if you're the only duelist as a phoenix in a rant game then the wall is very important because it helps you to get onto the site right for example I'm going to put in a Valen plant here to give you just some, some in general, like uh, rule of thumbs um, advice. In general, Phoenix cannot really do any kind of mobility, right? But what he can do is supplement, for example, how to enter a site. Like if, let's say, for example, I'm not saying that you should, but if you play Phoenix on split, right, you can do a phoenix wall that goes like this and helps you get out of the b main choke point and go towards the side and then you can just like try to uh try to like flash out right you can try doing something like this as well like here so you cover um cover the left side of the map and you peek into heaven right always think about the way that you should be creating like vision denial for your opponents and trying to peek onto specific angles. This is why I prefer to have the wall and one flash with a shield on the attack side because you're very mobile uh, when it comes to peeking corners because of that, right? You can you can create so much, so much chaos by yourself. Yoru, there's absolutely 
no case scenario where I don't buy clone, flash, and shields for Yoru. The fact that the Yoru clone is so powerful for 100 credits um, utility is is incredible. It's so versatile. It can be your pocket teammate that you can trade. It can be a fake TP on bind. It can be a fake uh, for trying to defuse because you can activate the clone the same time as you defuse and it fakes. Like there's so many things you can do with the clone, right? And it, it's also a flash, coincidentally. So and then a flash is just a Euro flash. It's very good. Now if you buy uh, a flash, you can only buy a ghost. You cannot have a ghost. You cannot have a clone. If you buy a clone and you buy a ghost, you don't have enough cash for the flash but it's exactly perfect for a flash clone and shield that's why i always played on both attack and defense for euro i think it's the best possible build then race on attack side depending on what's your composition if you are the main duelist of the team you should go for double satchel's shield because your job will be to create the space if you have a jet with you you can try to go for a boom bot uh boom bot shields or boom bot ghost for example and you maybe don't have to create the space with the satchels but in general i would say that you should be following jet anyway so the satchels should help like for example let's keep the ex uh, let's keep the examples for um for split so let's say uh let's say you go uh you go towards a and if you go ramp in the beginning like if the jet dashes towards ramp you can easily follow that with a satchel so now you have two players attacking very aggressively towards towards ramp which is very important right so uh in general double satchels in my eyes the proper buy on attack for race now when it comes to defense for reina again i don't think we should be playing reina whatsoever but if you for some reason play reina on defense side i would say that on defense you should play a little bit like a chamber so essentially you try to get a kill and just dismiss to safety. You shouldn't be aiming in general on defense when you play Reyna to heal yourself. You should be almost automatically dismissed almost out of every situation because you want to avoid being traded. So double uh, double dismiss of Devour on defense is extremely powerful because if you get an isolated kill, then you're a tank, you're a raid boss in pistol round. But if you don't, you can easily just get out of twice. Like, that's incredibly valuable on pistol round. And Reyna has, like, in my eyes, potential to be the most impactful agent on a pistol round just because she's a Reyna. Otherwise, she doesn't have that much value. But yeah. Now, Jet. On defense, Ghost and a Smoke. Most likely, most uh, interesting choice. Unless it's maybe Breeze, you can go for a Sheriff. But in general... A uh, smoke and a ghost is the most versatile because the smoke can help you get out of sticky situations, uh, just like a dash can. And a uh, ghost you can spam through smokes. And in general, it's a lethal weapon. weapon. So, not really my preferred buy. Now, on Neon, I would go for the same buy as for the attack. The stuns are incredibly powerful at stopping potential pushes. So, think about it this way. Let's say I'm playing on defense B, right? When you're playing Neon... Remember that you don't have to do like flashy like stuns and so on. You can literally do it like it bounces like this. Bong bong. You just throw it in a straight line. You aim here and then it bounces here and you just do something like this. You don't have to like bounce it like specifically. Treat it like a grenade that explodes once and you're going to start doing much better. Like if you can go for fancy bounces, go for it if you know already. But if you don't, using it as a grenade, like a raise grenade, will give you a lot of results when you just bounce it from the ground, like zoop, zoop, you know, like from the ground at your target, you're going to have a lot of good results. And the two stunts single handed, you can stop and execute on any side that you will defend. Phoenix, same buy as an attack, very efficient, very similar to what I said about Yoru. His kit is just so well designed to work in tandem with each other. And so it happens that you can buy literally every single piece of utility that you have alongside shield. So you have a wall, one flash and the shield very very efficient same goes for the yoru as i explained on attack super incredibly powerful kit and then for the raise i would go for a boom bot and ghost because on defense depending on the map of course but you can get a lot of value in the early game by just using a boom bot uh early like let's keep it again um on the b side on split if you play split on race and for some reason you play b main you can boom bot early to get vision 
on this area and you can just literally like uh, i can i don't have a lineup after the nerves but before the nerves you are able to do basically this right but right now you're just still able to get a lot of information if you put it straight line like this to see if someone is in front of B. So you either have early rotation, if there's no one there on the pistol round, or you actually get information, and because of that, you're able to reinforce the B side. So, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the pistol rounds um, propositions of how, what to buy on the attack and defi defense side for the duelist. Next time, it's going to be initiators. See ya!